Hey guys, Mikey here from Soap to Sauce. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys quickly about the difference between N95s and R95 masks. I was buying masks the other night um, at Home Depot, and I also noticed that um, on Amazon and a couple other hardware stores that they were all sold out of N95 masks. And N95 masks are what you're hearing a lot about on the news right now. Um, there's uh, delay delays on getting these masks on Amazon, just back orders. Um, a lot of people are um, ordering them in the States and then shipping them over to China for resale. Um, and uh, I think a lot of people are just stocking them up as well. But N95s are typically what you hear about. But here's the interesting thing. So I did find a lot of R95 masks. And I think that people are just not buying them because they don't, you know, the N95s are kind of what you hear about in the news. Um, but the the, the N90, R95s are still um, available. Um, I'm not sure about Amazon, but I did find them uh, quite a few of them in um, the hardware shops and uh, Home Depot, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I found that interesting. So I was looking for content about the difference between these two masks, and I didn't really find a lot of stuff on the web. Um, but I did find uh, an article here from the CDC and then um, a train insert. So obviously these aren't directly related to the coronavirus. Um, and if I find an article that uh, talks about um, these two masks and compares them to each other when it comes to the coronavirus, I will definitely throw that link somewhere in this video. Um, but essentially, the, the only main difference that I can see is that um, the N95s are, are not resistant to oil and the R95s are somewhat resistant to oil. Resistant to oil. Um, I don't think that really applies much to the coronavirus, unless you're, uh, I don't know, working with oil-based paints and someone coughs on them or something like that. Um, but they pretty much, they filter out um, the exact same amount of particles, and I believe the same size of particles as well. So um, I'm definitely going to include these two links. And uh, yeah, take a look for yourself. Um, I uh, I might even write a couple posts about this, because I think it's kind of an important thing. I think. Um, there might be a lot of confusion, a lot of people kind of looking, trying to figure out um, if there's a difference between these two masks. But again, um, yeah, just to clarify one more time, it, it says here they filter out 95% of airborne particles. And this is on the CDC site. And the R95s also filter out 95% of the airborne particles. Again, the only difference is that they're somewhat resistant to oil. Um, hopefully, this video has been helpful. If you did find it helpful, please feel free to like, share, comment. Um, and uh, stay tuned for more content. Thanks, guys.